wanted to feel. Um, so I guess I'll just talk about New Boy for now. New Boy is an amazing... I haven't had sex this good in... First of all, I haven't had sex this long. Um, since a very long time. And New Boy is just so... So he is super in shape. He works out every day and he's just, his stamina is just, it's exceptional. And I'm, and I specifically vetted him for that purpose. Like I knew that I wanted a partner who could give me more than 20 minutes, who could give me more than 30 minutes, who could potentially give me more than 40 minutes. I knew that for me to really get back into just really enjoying sex the way I have in the past, I really was going to have to get a partner who could give me more time. And so um, we established that that was a possibility. We confirmed <laughs> We confirmed. Somebody said confirm it. <laughs> Niggas be swearing me the shit. Confirm it. I'm looking for the confirmation, but I can't find it. But with new boy, um, we confirmed it. And so ever since, <laughs> ever since that has been confirmed. And y'all know how I told you how I... <sighs> And I feel like we just have to do, like, I'm here to just help people out with these negative, toxic narratives and agreements that they've made and other people continue to make for them. Because a lot of the narratives, like I made a video on, um, I think it was something like black women that are pro cannabis or something like that. And I was talking about how all these really successful entrepreneurs, bomb ass wellness coaches, you know, sex doulas, sex coaches, awesome women doing dynamic. I mean, in regards to healing black women and black bodies, um, doing dynamic work. But yeah, we have this continuous narrative that all these people who smoke weed are weed heads, but then half of Hollywood, half of the people who make more money than you, half of the millionaires, you know, how the people you want to be like are partaking. But anyway, and so I wanted to say that in regards to sex, I think sometimes there there really is this slut shaming culture that just continues and continues and continues and continues to prevail. And even when you think that it's not, it's still there. And it sneaks its little head in there with statements that shame women or make it seem like women are less than when they engage in sex. And so I want to say personally from my experience, I am just as productive, if not more productive, when I have a healthy sex life. A healthy sex life for me means that the partner is making me come, the partner is listening to me, it's fun, it's a safe space for me to explore my sexuality, and that we're probably likely having sex a lot. A lot. And so I just wanted, like, because I remember when I started having sex a lot, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be... This, you know, I'm going to be so unproductive. I'm going to be digmatized and I'm going to be horrible and I'm going to be stupid and I'm not going to produce as much. And honestly, from that, like when when I started having a healthy sex life in my college career, everything just flowed. Like I was on so many different things at that time. Like it was junior year. So I was well established. I was just dibbling and dabbling with like so many different things and I was doing everything well I was I was doing every even though I was having all the sex and I was having a lot of sex and so I just think it depends on the person maybe people some people are naturally easier addicted to things some people are not disciplined to start I think sometimes we get caught up with people who are never disciplined in general and then they start to engage in these activities they just allow them to be even less disciplined because they were never disciplined in the beginning but for me I was always very disciplined but I feel like when I started having a healthy sex life even though and it helped me to live more like it helped me to cancel shit that I that why do we need to have this meeting like it helped me to just be matter of fact like some people are like oh well, you did skip me but it's like I should have never been going to that boring ass stupid ass we're just gonna sit here and talk back and forth and repeat the same shit we said last week shit I should have I would prefer to be having sex than to be in here talking about the same shit 
that we were talking about last week. Just, just to hear ourselves talk. So, I do feel like when I'm having healthy sex, I am just as productive, if not more productive. Um, I don't know. It's just like, I feel like sometimes like, I don't know. Some, I just feel like sometimes someone like can just fuck me into clarity. Like, same thing with smoking. Sometimes I'll smoke and I'll have a huge epiphany. Same thing with shrooms. Like, I'll have a huge epiphany. Like, oh my gosh, like. I need to do this or I shouldn't have done that or I need to check that. And I feel like the same thing with like sex. Like when I have like good sex, like it doesn't cloud me, if, especially if it's a healthy relationship. It doesn't cloud me. If anything, it gives me a little clarity. Like when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I can do, I can get it. Like, I don't know. Like sometimes I just feel like I let stress and all these things get to me. And then when someone or when I fuck the shit out of someone or when someone fucks me right, it's like, woo, I can think now. <laughs> And I would have still thought regardless, but it's just like, I don't know. It helps me. Like, I just feel like there's this narrative that everyone that has sex, like, they're like, I don't know, like, unproductive, like, lazy, all of that. And I'm just saying, like, I, some of the best shit I've, like, even academically, some of the best things I've written, done, etc. were when I was having a really healthy sex life. So I'm super excited for this new chapter because new boy, y'all, like, I am... I'm a player for life, but he's about to make me take someone off the roster. He's about to make me take someone off to the roster on principle. On principle. On principle. I do I do think that sometimes men, because they're in like this delusion or whatever, they like have this distorted view of themselves. And because that view is distorted their perspective of everything else is distorted and they like they un they just underestimate you know i think maybe blame it on just like patriarchy programming the belief that they're smarter than me or something i don't know but i just damn i just see men like think that they think that they have me or got me or um, and it's like, you're not, mm, it's just like, you're, why would I settle with you? Why would I settle for you? Like, why would I settle? But anyway, why would I settle for you? Like with you? Like, I just don't get it. But new boy really had me considering taking some people off the roster because he is just, He's just so like, y'all. I feel like this nigga fucked me until tri I was gone. I was gone. Like, I was. I think what happens is when you have long sessions, it's like you're in a trance. Like when you you build up this like energy, and it's like. The last time this nigga fucked me, I felt like I was on Maui. But I, I was not on Maui. <laughs> but and he was not on Maui either. But I gotta do this together though because it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. Like, this nigga's trying to, I swear this nigga's trying to come first place. <laughs> and if I give him enough time, he might, he might take it. He might take first. The, this, this, he's the newest addition. Our newest addition. But our newest addition is coming for y'all. Like, y'all niggas, I try to get y'all acts together. <laughs> it's too late, though. Get y'all, get y'all act together. Because new edition is coming and he is not.
He's not playing with y'all. <laughs> he's not he's not playing with y'all. He gonna have me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Y'all, I try to tell y'all to get y'all. I try to tell y'all to get your ass together. Oh, Woo! no boy. Mm. Y'all. Okay, but also shout out to me because I came in like the, here's what we're not gonna do. If you have a problem with it, you can leave. If you have a problem with it, stop texting me right now. If you have a problem with it, we don't ever have to communicate again. This is what we're not going to do. This is what we is going to do. And if these are a problem for you, feel free to remove yourself. Please go. I don't need no old time wasters. I don't need no more whack ass dick. I don't need no more lying ass, finessing ass niggas. Like, and I will say the one thing that I will say, and people going to say what they want to fucking say, the best thing I could have ever done was get out that sugar game. The best thing. That's just for me personally. The best thing I could have ever done was get out the shit game. Okay, because it's just, it was, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to your spirit and um, beyond the money and beyond the sex and beyond the beauty, there are people who, you know, um, young beauty and old ugly are two different frequencies. And there are people who, even if they don't fuck you, even if you don't kiss them or whatever, they feed off your young, beautiful energy. And inevitably, you will, you will eventually feel, uh, well, depending on the type of person you are. Um, hey, Google, stop. Okay. Inevitably, you, for me, inevitably, I felt, um, it's just, it just felt like it was, just, it was disrespectful for me. I could feel the energy. I could feel the energy vampires, and it's unless you really get compensated for the, for that, for that, uh, you know, for that position you gotta play and shit, and then, you know, unless you really get compensated, I guess, you know, you really need to think about, um. Whether or not it's worth it. But for me, the best thing I could have ever done was get out of that shit. I'm good. Like, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, do you know how doing things you don't want to do lowers your frequency? Period. So, because I didn't like it, I'm so glad I got out of it. Because it's really not, for me, it wasn't worth it. And um, I'm not naturally nice. Like, I'm not, I'm just not, like... <laughs> Like, I'm a good-ass person and I care about people to an extent, but I also am not delusional, I'm not stupid, and I'm not naive. Um, I have my naive moments, but the thing about that, and that's another thing. So, there was this nigga who was trying to talk to me. But he tried to sneak it in through a studio. And I called him out on it. And he and I said, I said, mark my words because I told my mom, I said, I'm, going, I'm about to call this nigga out. I said, I'm about to call this nigga out because I know what the fuck he's doing. Because he called me on a really nice... I wasn't really, I was just, he just called me on a really like nice, naive day. Like we all have different days where if you don't believe that, like that's on you. But you know, we all have days where like good days, bad days, like you're in your boss bitch mode. You're in your nice girl. Mode. Like you all have, you all have these different, we all have these different aspects of ourselves that come out. And so he called me on a nice day, but I'm not nice every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, so one of them days when, like, the real bitch is in town, you know what I'm saying? Like, when she's not, you know, asleep or, you know, doing, doing handling other things, she's going to be like, who this nigga you texting? <laughs> this is how it go down. This is how it go down in my house. This is, y'all want to see how it go down? Okay, let me, let me tell y'all how it go down. So, I, he called me on a nice, like, nice, nice girl jazz day. Nice girl jazz, whatever. And he had been texting me, right? And this is really like, he just started asking like, these help, like, why are you asking these questions? 
are you trying to talk to me? Are you trying to get me to book your studio? Like, you're trying to... And then what happened was he was doing the Atlanta shit. And he was lying. He was like, oh, my studio's in my house. I, I've been finessed by niggas way more advanced, way more slick, way more... He you know, and I've... And, let's for the record reflect, I've finessed niggas way more slick, way more cool, way, way more, you know, sly with it than you. Like, you... If you think I'm about to come to your fucking house for a fucking studio that you told me was a studio, but you never told me was a home studio because a studio and a home studio is two different fucking things. So, one day I was texting him and the, the like, real boss bitch with me was um, in town. She was like, she was, she was running the day. Like, different days you have whatever. So, she was running the day. So... The like boss bitch me, the me that don't give a fuck and don't fucking play, was like, who the fuck is you texting? And the naive side of me is like, oh, um, just this guy that I'm at and he's got a stu and she's like, so he trying to fuck? And I and the nice night, I don't know about that because he's never mentioned anything like what was he talking to you about? Well, he's asking me, like, what I like to do, what I'm doing, like, how would I describe myself? Like, she's like, what the fuck is he asking you to, he's supposed, he the studio nigga? Is he the studio nigga? What the studio nigga asking you all these fucking questions for? He the studio nigga, right? So where the studio at? Well, studios, he said it was a studio, but then he said it's in, in, it's in his house. In his house? You know you're not going, right? Well, I mean, like, it might be a really nice studio in this house. You know you're not going, right? Are, are you, do we come this, are, are, for real, bitch? Are, we did not come this far for you to be this fucking stupid right now. We did not come this fucking far. We did not come this fucking far for you to be this stupid right now. You know you're not fucking going. Yeah, that's probably smart. So why are you texting him? This nigga trying to fuck. Well, no, he, why are you, what is he asking you? What the fuck is this shit? This ain't no, this ain't no, prof this nigga trying to fuck. Look at these questions. You you can't see this? Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. You cannot be this naive still. You cannot still be this naive. You cannot still be this naive. What the fuck is he asking you all these motherfucking personal questions for? If he ain't trying to fucking get to the panties. What the fuck is this shit? And you entertaining this? And you're in it. I'm going to throw the whole phone away. Block this. No, you know what? Call the nigga out. You want me to call him out? Yeah, I want you to call him out. What do you want me to say? You know what the fuck to say. She's like, I was like, and bitch, watch this nigga gonna lie. This nigga gonna lie and say it's not about that. He gonna say it's not about that. But based on... What the fuck? Let me look at these messages. This nigga trying to fuck. He trying to sneak fuck. He trying to sneak fuck. And I hate a nigga that got a sneak fuck. I hate a nigga that can't get pussy on his own merit. I hate a sneak fuck nigga.